So this stage is now the refinement stage, but before we go through to the refinement screen, I'd just like to recap what we have here. So you've taken your upper impression, you've taken your lower, you've taken your bite, and you've used the camera facility to take 2D images. Just that blue area there, for example, that is where the occlusion was taken. If you were doing three or four teeth, then we'd ask you to take that occlusion in two different areas, okay? The top, the anterior section, and the posterior section. When you come to scanning full arch, then four occlusal captures. One here, one here, and then replicate that the other side. So, if there's anything that you see that you want to add to, and you think that actually I want to capture this canine, you can go back a step, and you can add to your previous impressions. Also, if you wanted to add to this upper, you would not have to take the occlusion again. So now to refine. Refining, press this button in the right hand corner. We won't be taking HD images at this stage in the tutorial, we'll come back to that at a later stage. So we'll say no to this and then we'll go forward to refine. And you'll see that buffering in the bottom of our screen now. Screen. What that refinement stage has just done is three things, okay? It has, as you can obviously see, it has filled in spaces that you'd left as you're scanning. Now, clinically, entirely up to you. If this is a study model, you may consider this is totally applicable to leave these fill-ins. However, you may decide to rescan that area and then it will capture it more accurately. The reason we've given these fill-ins a different colour is we don't want you to think that they are supremely accurate. So for example, in a Crown and Bridge case, if this were a preparation, this is obviously above the margin, I would like you, as a trainer, I, I would ask you to go back a step, go back into the mouth, take another couple of pictures and just fill in that a little bit more accurately. And the same would apply for contact points, etc. The other thing this has done is obviously you, you're back to true colour now, okay? And the third thing that the refinement stage does is if when you scan, for example, intraorally, when you're scanning this lower arch, you may well pick up some of the cheek. Now this refinement stage cuts these elements out. You may pick up a little bit of the tongue here. It will delete that automatically in the refinement stage. Okay, so let's recap. As you can see here, you can remove arches or add arches to the view. So let's take the upper back in and remove and have a look around. Am I happy with that scan? Is this scan okay to send forward to my laboratory? If it is, then a couple of little uh, procedures here. Check all, press that button there. And also the scanning area selection here. I want you to click there and I want you to tell the PC which areas you scanned. I'm doing that by clicking on the furthest two teeth in that portion of scanning there in the upper arch and I'm going to do the same here by clicking that molar. I know I scanned down to there. Now that is it. So let's recap. At this point you've got your upper, you've got your lower, you've refined it, you've had a full review of this. Now this is the point where you press the done button it asks you to double check, do I want to save and exit this, yes or no. If it's no, you find you can go back, add to the impression, but at this point it will exit. So I will press yes and it will refine and it will go back into the patient's notes. If you look in that history file up here now, here is all the history of every impression that this patient has had scanned using this system.